Thanks for watching this video today from Healthy Kidney Inc. channel on YouTube and HealthyKidneyInc.com. And today we're talking about how to reduce swelling in your ankles and your feet when you have kidney disease. Now, if you have swelling in your ankles and feet with kidney disease, you probably have stage three or greater. And generally you see that symptom, that issue more when you're in the later stages. And a couple things that you can do to help. So if you do have that, you're looking to improve it. Um, I remember when I was in the later stages of kidney disease, I had a lot of swelling, but I didn't know what I know now so that I was able to help myself back then. So one of the first things that you want to do is reduce the sodium, get all the salt out of your diet as much as possible. You want to reduce that salt to 1500 milligrams per day up to 2200 milligrams per day is, is considered the recommendations for kidney disease but I would try to even keep it lower into that 1500 milligrams or less per day to reduce that swelling. Now, the second thing, which is a big issue is when, depending on the type of kidney disease and the later stages, you might have a lot of protein loss in your urine. So you're losing a lot of protein. And in turn, this causes your protein levels in your body, specifically your albumin to drop. And albumin is something on the blood work. And so when these levels drop, you don't have adequate protein in your body, which regulates the fluid balance. So this is a big issue in kidney disease. And to correct this, you can eat more protein. The problem with that is eating more protein causes more toxins, more stress on your kidney. Uh, that, but that is one approach that some people use and depending on what your diet is, that's something you can try. But a better option is using essential amino acids or keto analogs of essential amino acids. And that's not to be confused with a keto diet or any of that that you might read on the internet. What these are is um, precursors to protein or essential amino acids are the building blocks of protein. So by taking those amino acids or keto analogs of amino acids, with, which are essential amino acids and precursors, you're gonna get all the protein you need uh, without actually eating protein so you can correct those albumin and those protein levels, thereby reducing the swelling. If you're looking to read more about that, we go on our website at healthykidneyinc.com. You can check out our shop page and it talks about a product called Pure Kidney. Uh, you don't have to buy the product. That's just where we have all the information about how to help those protein levels. So you can take a look at that as well as other products on the page. But those are some things you can do. Third thing that you can do is body positioning, meaning don't stay in the same position for too long. So if you have chronic kidney disease and a desk job, you wanna to try to get up every hour for about a minute or so. Because if you know if you have swelling, when you sit for those long periods, the swelling will build up more and more in your ankles and your feet. And then when you go to sleep and you wake up in the morning, you have a lot less swelling. So body position, something that you wanna be mindful of and getting up, moving, walking more often if you have a desk job or if you're sitting all day. The recommendation is every hour for at least one minute to go move your body. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. A couple tips that you can do to help with swelling, edema. Uh, like, comment, subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. That's healthykidneyinc.com. Bye.